is a tough journey, right? It's it's not easy and it can be difficult and it can be especially because you know, when we were in college, we had classmates, we had friends, we would go to the library, study together, right? But now, once you graduate, you're on your own. So it's like people around you after work, they might not do nothing. They might go to the gym, chill, relax, right? But then you have to study, right? And so that feels sometimes lonely. And so that's why we try to do as, as many things as we can to support you guys in the journey, to make it easier, to, so that you're not alone in this journey and you are able to succeed as well, right? Because that's the goal. At the end, we want you guys to pass your FE exam faster, right? So many of you guys have been in this journey for years and you've been stuck and we need to change that. You guys don't need to stay, you know, fail the FE exam four or five times. Um, There's nothing wrong with it, but, you know, if we can avoid it, that would be great, right? Because, you know, if you fail once, twice, that's fine. But then when you start failing after six, seven, eight, it starts to really affect your self-esteem, right? And so we want to minimize that as much as we can and push you guys to do the best you can to keep showing up, to stay consistent, to study, to learn the material, also to enjoy the journey, right? And to not lead you yourself to burnout. It's very important to have a balance as well. Work out, spend time with family. Those things are important to your health, to your memory, to your brain. It will help you retain information. It will help you process it better and faster, right? So these are all important things to keep in mind, guys, okay? you know, it's about getting up again and trying again the next day. And I know some of you guys, um, it's going to be difficult to do that, right? It's, again, like I said, after failing so many times, it just becomes harder and harder for you to show up and to keep studying and you start losing hope. But it's very important, guys, to try to look at the last attempts that you took the FE and try to learn from, from it, okay? Look at it from a positive perspective um, perspective. Okay. Don't look at it from, um, a way of judging, right. Uh, or like beating yourself up for failing a couple times or disappointment. We don't want any of that because that's just going to affect you mentally and you're not going to be at your best, right? Because we, this exam is tricky and you got to be at your best in everything, your study material, your mental, your mindset, uh, right. Your confidence, all of that, right. So that you do really well on your exam. And so it's very important that you guys, you know, when you look back, just look back and be like, okay, what did I do wrong? Right. And just be brutally honest with yourself. What are, I could have done better or what I could have done differently. Right. And then, and just look at it from that perspective and then come up with a new study plan and just keep showing up and, and try to be in the moment. Okay. Don't dwell in the past. Okay. It's over. It's done. You took it, you failed. That's it. Right. You can't, you can't do anything about it. It's out of your control. Same thing with the future. Don't try to every single day to remind yourself, I have to pass this exam. That's a lot of pressure to live with, right? That's that's a lot of stress to, to have that every day, right? Right now, just forget about that goal, right? And just the goal should be, what am I, what do I need to study today? And I want to make that happen. That should be your goal, right? You should have, that's why I tell you guys have to-do lists, right? If you have a to-do list every day, then it's easier for you guys to be in the moment because then you're going to show up and you're going to be like, okay, today I just have to do these math problems. That's it. You're not thinking about the past. You're not thinking about the future. And that's why having a process in place, is going to help you guys with motivation and with, with your, process of studying learning you don't have to rely on willpower anymore right because you're just gonna show up and then just do what you gotta do to learn the material okay guys so these are very important things that can help you guys um with with your your studying with your approach when it comes to the fe and all that all right all of you guys if you have failed your fe exam before and you want somebody to look at it please feel free to share it with us. Send it to our email. Uh, we can, um, Pranita will send you guys the email and um, and then we can go ahead and evaluate it and take a look at it, okay? So we I get so many of these diagnostic reports every day. We get them. So I, I have an idea, like a lot of times, even my team now, they look at the diagnostic report and we can tell if this student is really close to passing or they're a little bit far. And we can also give you an advice of what to do, the study plan. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, if you're close, uh, you're close to passing, 
we're hoping that like two months, three months should be enough to get you to get you ready to pass your FE. Because really, guys, the goal here is we want students to start studying after three, four months, you're ready to pass your FE exam, right? When I was preparing for my FE, I remember like I kept pushing my exam days over and over because I just, I never felt ready. I always felt scattered. My study material was everywhere. I was afraid to miss anything. Um, I, I wasn't sure what I was studying, if it was going to be on my exam. I was constantly looking at the specifications, looking up stuff on Google, YouTube. My I had so, so much engineering books on 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 my desk that's what i used to prepare for my fe and and i just i had to just keep studying and pushing it and it was very stressful and i'm hoping that what, what we're doing is is helping you guys to have a less stressful journey less overwhelming so that way you guys can enjoy the process and and which can help you guys to learn better learn faster process the information more and most importantly retain it for your fe right because there's 14 different subjects that you have to remember and if you don't have a good grasp of the concepts and if you're studying with all the stress and feeling scattered that's not really going to help you uh with retaining the information right so we're trying to give you guys as much information as we can uh, so that to make the whole process easier for you guys and hopefully once we're done with the FE we can do the same thing with the PE so for those of you guys who pass your FE um, we'll have something ready for you guys as well for for the PE and then hopefully we can help you guys you know excel in your career under less than one year right we had the student Malik who felt I, I love Malik's story because it's just it's very inspiring and it can show uh, what what anyone can do and that's why i really like his story but he graduated in 2012 he failed the fe exam six times um and then he enrolled in our program and five months later he passed his fe two months later he got his pe on his first try and then five months later he also got his se i mean the things that he accomplished in like a year and a half was incredible he excelled in his career faster than he ever thought he could uh and you know and now he's getting all the raises and the promotion and so that's really the goal you know when i was working in the engineering industry i felt like i was really stuck limited uh you couldn't really uh, excel in your career um in in many different ways and so i i felt i feel like if we can make that whole process easier so that engineers can start excelling in their careers faster right we don't have to um, have 10 years of experience uh, or, or 15 years of experience before we can get into the management role and, and have that raise or that promotion, right? So I'm hoping that when engineers, you know, graduate within one to two years, they can get their FE, get their PE, and then from there, they can just go and have a good, good job and excel in their career. So that's really the goal here. The first phase is to go get familiar with a lot of these concepts okay because you haven't seen it in so long you have to just like it's like priming your brain right just just look at it just get familiar with it you don't have to write anything right now you can just look at the problem solution and just skim through it you know just get yourself familiar with the terms with the concepts with the equations you know one thing i did when i was actually going to college and this has really changed um especially when i got to engineering classes it I really started to get like straight A's in my classes because of this tip. Um, and it's what one of my professors shared it with me was that I would review the notes or read the chapter before class, right? And I remember he told me, you're not going to understand any of it and you might not grasp any of it and that's okay. So just, just look at it, right? Just get yourself familiar with the terms and, and then go to class and try to do that before class every time. And I did that. And when i when i started doing that when i go to class it's not now it's not the first time i've heard these terms before right now it's like oh yeah i remember reading about that and now my brain is being engaged and starts to make connection versus if i've never read the chapter and i just went straight to the class i, I would not really you know engage with the professor i would not grasp what he's saying right so it's very important it really helps you guys uh to learn faster so get familiar with the concept get familiar with the problems right that's your phase two phase phase one phase two um is 
redoing everything. It's reinforcing what you learned, right? Because just because you got it the first time doesn't mean now you're going to remember it and it's there, right? You have to make sure that you reinforce those concepts and make sure that you actually grasped it. So this is the time where you got to go and attempt those problems and really do them. Uh, do, do them on your own to make sure you actually got them, okay? And then the last phase, which is retaining, right? You have so many subjects that you have to study. You have 13 different subjects. And it's very important that you guys review, right? I constantly tell our students, make sure that you guys review, 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 right? It's going to help you guys to retain the information. So once a week, pick the day that you hate the most uh, or pick the day when you're most tired. Usually for people, that's either Monday because it's the beginning of the week. They're not really looking forward to it or Friday because it's the end of the week and you're exhausted. In that day, what you could do is just review, review everything that you have studied during that week. And, and just, you know, go through the problems, skim through them. You can also redo the problems you got wrong to make sure that you actually understood the concepts and you got them, okay? And then the other one last thing that you can add to that is before you go to bed every day, just look at your notes and skim through them. Again, this is one of my professors shared this tip with me. I remember in college, I used to always review my notes right before bed. And then for whatever, I don't know what happens, but the next morning, I'm usually like, I process it uh, and and just send it better and the thing is you are going to retain it longer till at least you pass your FE exam okay and guys these tips are going to help you pass your FE and your PE so this is why this is great and and another thing that I'm really happy that the NCS uh, did this and, and and I hope they change it uh for most states so not all states right now but once you pass your FE you can get your PE right away even if you don't have the full experience so i highly recommend you guys once you pass your fe this year i know all of you guys can do it so just you know go for it stay consistent keep studying learn the subjects make sure you got the concepts uh, and once you guys do that you're gonna pass your fe and then right after that i recommend for all of you or at least for those who can uh depends on your states go ahead and go straight to your pe start preparing for your pe while the material is fresh while you know how to study while you know you all these study tips and everything that you are learning right now for the fe you can apply the same thing for the PE as well, okay? A lot of our students have passed their FE and their PE within a year, literally one year. We just had a student, Beth, who uh, we have her interview in our channel. She failed the FE exam three times. She passed it five months later or three months later, actually. She studied three months, she passed her FE, and then six months or seven months later, she got her PE, and we're gonna post that interview at the end of this month. So, you know, just keep going, guys, um, and, and I hope you know, a lot, a lot of you guys uh, succeed this year in, in your FE and excel in your careers, okay? Just, if you have failed your FE exam before, just think about this, you know, 10 years from now, when you have your PE and you're doing great in your career, you look back, right? Uh, when you failed, like, it's not going to make that much difference, right? But what's going to make a difference, the fact that you got up again, you kept going, and you passed it and and that just you know too you know when we fail we we learn so much from from the failure and and we grow as a person we you know there's there's so much growth and and opportunity to learn and um and so you know this is going to be it's a challenge right now but it's going to help you become a better person and just help you understand more about how you, you study how you learn and that's going to help you to even pass your PE faster, right? So it's just a setback, guys. When you fail, it's just a setback, right? Don't give up, just keep going, um, learn from it. Like I said yesterday, learn from your mistakes, uh, come up with a new plan, come up with a new process. Don't get disappointed, right? Be patient, be kind to yourself. You're doing the best you can. You you know, you, you probably work full time. You have a lot going on in your life. You're showing up and you're doing the best you can. So make sure you, you, you know, you know that and just keep going, keep studying and you guys will get there. All right, guys. Yeah,